Uh, properties for rectangle. So once again, a rectangle is a parallelogram. So it still has all the properties for parallelograms. Opposite sides congruent and opposite angles congruent and the diagonals bisect each other. But now rectangles also have an additional special property and that's that the diagonals are congruent. Okay, It doesn't have the same uh, properties as the rhombus. The rhombus had its own special properties for diagonals. The rectangle will, has its own special properties for diagonals, and it's that the diagonals are congruent. All right, So the two diagonals in a rectangle will always be the same. So for example, if I look at this, in rectangle ABCD, it says that AC is 18. And so when I look at that, that's one of my diagonals. So this whole diagonal right here, okay, AC, that's 18. The whole way across is 18. And so if I want to find some of these missing pieces, well, the fact that I know it's a rectangle because it's labeled that way, well, let's talk about some of these. It says I want to find CE, uh, BD, and ED. One of the easiest ones, or probably the easiest one to start with, is this guy. It's find BD. See, I already know one of the diagonals is 18, right? So this entire diagonal, if I kind of highlight it, is 18. Well, since it's a rectangle, the diagonals have to be the same, which means the other diagonal, if I highlight that one, which is BD, that also has to be 18. So the diagonals are congruent, so right away, this one's going to be 18. Okay, But now I have to go to the fact that, hey, it's still a parallelogram. Even though it's a rectangle, the rectangle has the special properties of diagonals are the same. But parallelograms, remember the diagonals bisected each other. And so if each of those diagonals are 18, well, they bisect each other, which means these little pieces on each end have to be 9 each. So this has to be 9 and this has to be 9. Okay. Likewise, the other diagonal, because it's a parallelogram, they bisect each other, which means each of these pieces, since the whole thing is 18, has to be 9 and 9. And so as I look around this thing, CE, well, that was one of my pieces that's 9. So that's 9 units. Okay. ED, that's one of my smaller pieces that's 9. So that's nine units as well. So we have to use this property for rectangles, but we still have to use the properties for parallelograms as well. Okay? So parallelograms, yeah, the diagonals bisect each other, but for a rectangle, the, the entire diagonals are also congruent. They're also the same. If I look at this one, it says in rectangle ABCD, it says uh, AE equals 10, and I want to find BD. And so when I look at this, it says AE, AE right here is just this little piece is 10, okay? And so once again, thinking about the diagonals of a parallelogram a little bit more broadly, they bisect each other. So that means that if AE is 10, well, then EC is also 10, okay? Because that diagonal is being bisected. It also then means that the entire diagonal, this entire thing of AC, if I label it down here, AC, the entire diagonal is 20. That's my segment addition. You know, I have two segments. I add them together. It gives me the whole segment. And so now when I compare that to BD, which is the other diagonal, now I can use my property for rectangles, which rectangles say that the diagonals are the same. And so if the diagonals are the same, if one diagonal is 20, well, then the other diagonal has also got to be 20. Okay? So we still have all the properties for parallelograms, but now in addition to that, we have special properties for rectangles. Oh, the diagonals are congruent now as well.